Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler short tip Saturday video for you today. I have another DIY video and we're going to be building a floating fish basket for keeping your bait alive and we're going to be doing it for about five bucks so stick around. All right guys, not a whole lot of parts to this project. This is gonna make it real easy here. You're going to need one pool noodle. You're going to need some zip ties. And you're gonna need the main part here, which is a collapsible laundry hamper. This would happen to come from Ikea, but you can pick these up at Walmart, the dollar store, just about anywhere that uh, sells that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how easy this project is. And uh, we're going to have us a fish basket here in just a second. All right, first things, let's go ahead and get this laundry hamper opened up. That's all Velcro keeps this thing together. A couple Velcro tabs. Pop that up. All right, guys, once you have your hamper in the fully extended position, all you're going to do is take this pool noodle, wrap it around the inside of your thing here. And I'm going to put the I'm going to put the seam where the two pieces of pool noodle come together. I'm going to put it right where that lid is. So we'll get that pulled up into place. Get that as high up as you can under here. Once you've done that, you're going to take your handy dandy little pocket knife here and you're going to poke some holes down here in this tight knit piece of mesh preferably between the two metal wires if you can do it now some areas you're not going to be able to do that but uh, you know guys if you get down here into this into this netting you run more of a risk of a tear but we'll go ahead and Poke our knife in there. Take your zip tie. Poke it through. Bring it around. All right. There's one fastened. Let's go ahead and put the rest of them in. You don't have to load it down with zip ties. Just a few here and there. All right, guys, once you have your pool noodle zip tied into place, I ended up using about six zip ties on that. Uh, one thing that you might want to do is tie you a piece of paracord or something onto that. That way you can tie it off there at the bank and make sure it doesn't float away. All right, one thing you're going to want to do, if yours has these little tabs in it, is bring that behind the pool noodle. That will allow you the movement you need to be able to bring that around and Velcro it at the bottom. And that closes up. And we're back to a stowable position. All right, guys, for my tie off, all I ended up doing was taking about a 10 foot section of paracord and tying a couple of these cheap carabiners on there. And that'll allow you to hook up to this thing and tether it off to keep it from floating away. But it's also easily removed. And you can take it, store it right inside your fish basket so it's never missing. All right, guys, there you have it. For an investment of about $5, and maybe about five minutes worth of time, I now have a collapsible 
floating fish basket that I can use when I'm kayak fishing or bank fishing to keep my bait alive longer. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Short Tip Saturday segment. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you have an idea for something you'd like to see on Short Tip Saturday, leave that down in the comments section and you may get to see your name in an upcoming video when I cover your tip. So guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Appreciate you sticking around with this one. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching The Weekend Angler.